Hello and welcome to another episode of Jimster 586's Lock Shop. Today I have for you a cutaway sesame padlock made by CCL, Corbin, originally Corbin Cabinet Lock. Now CCL is its own company. That's the bottom with the dials. I'm looking at it through the camera screen here. I can't tell if I have it upside down or not. Oh, it looks like we have it right. Okay. CCL. There's the side. There's the front. Where you can see all the, the different dials in here. Yeah, try to give you kind of a close up. The inner workings of this thing. So, I'm going to change the. I actually have. This is what they call a resettable combination padlock. I have the reset key here. So what I'm actually going to do is first I'm going to open this for you and then I'm going to uh, change the, the combination. So I've set the combination currently to 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is on 2. So if I turn this dial to 1, now when I push down on the, the shackle here, it'll open up. So now let's change the combination for you. So you can see how this works. First we have to line the key up. You want the flat spot. Of course I can't see this through the camera screen. Oh, there we go. You need the flat spot down. You open this to change the combination. There's the spring right here. To open the change the combination, first you have to open the lock, swing the shackle out of the way. Stick this tool down this hole right here, where you can see. It has to push against this plug right here. Now what I'm going to do is to attempt to change the combination back to zero, 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 zero. Pull that out, let's see if that worked. And no, nope, it did not. These are temperamental locks. It's not the kind of lock I would buy. I mean, they're sturdy enough, but it's very temperamental. Let's get back down the hole again. You can see what I'm pushing against. Let's try this again. Still didn't get it. What a pain in the butt. They say third time's the charm. Well, guess what? We're about to prove that theory. Oops, didn't want to do that. Come on. Very temperamental device. Tell this video is going to run long. Stop hitting that. Nope, still didn't work. I've already tried this, so I know it does work. Alright, so let's try it that way. Stick it down the hole. It keeps popping past the... Let's see if the camera can actually see that. Ah, we got it that time. All right, so now the combination is zero, 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 zero. There are your wheels. See the device here. By pushing this 
down, you're able to change the combination. With this ordinary little key here, which is round on the top and kind of flat on the bottom. So the flat spot has to go down like through here, through the hole. If you can see that or not. Okay, you probably can. So that it hits this device, you push that down, and you're able to change your combination. So again, there's the wheels. It's kind of a view. Not a heck of a lot to see in here. There's the spring for the hasp. It's a double locking, but it's not a ball bearing. It's just this latch here that you can see. It's all held by springs. There's the back. Not entirely sure what this is for here. Numbers on the bottom. CCL. And with that in mind, I've taken up enough of your time, so that's it, and enjoy.